All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming to twitch.tv slash Dr. Gameology. This mental health moment, we are going to talk about the cognitive model. Now, this is something that people who have done therapy on their own already maybe would be very familiar with. But even if you don't have a therapist, your own mental health journey will greatly benefit from understanding the basics of the cognitive model. So what I have here is an infographic we're going to scroll through and I'm going to talk about how being a gamer allows us to understand the basic steps of this process very clearly, the way that we see the challenges that we play and how we can bring the ways that we play into the way that we think about our life. So in the cognitive model, we always start with a situation. Now the situation is anything that happens to a person. So you just saw us do a boss fight as a group against Zodiac, which is a powerful god of the dark forces of existence. Zodiac is directly in opposition to the powers of light and the goddess Hydaelyn in the world of Final Fantasy XIV. So Zodiac being summoned out of the core of the moon is a big moment that challenges our heroes to stand up for the forces of light in the face of permanently powerful darkness. That is a situation that is happening to us as the warriors of light, the scions of the seventh dawn, everything that we have stood for, this is a problem. And what do we know about problems? We have to solve them. So whenever a situation happens to us, there are a multitude of things at our disposal, but we have to remember them and we have to notice where they are and what they mean. And the first of those resources are our thoughts. This is how a person interprets a situation. If you saw that boss fight, Zodiac was living inside of the moon. He's massive, he's powerful, he has all kinds of abilities that dwarf our mortal existence and our capabilities, but together we were able to hold our own. How is that possible? It starts with our thoughts. We have to interpret the situation as something that has a possible strategy that is worth sticking to. It's how we think about ourselves in a situation. It's what we believe is possible in terms of our outcomes. It's faith in the steps of how we get to that solution. It all begins with our thoughts. But our thoughts link into another resource, and that's going to be resource number two, which is our feelings. All right. The feelings that we have are generated by our thoughts. If we believe that the boss is too big for us to do anything against it, we will give in to despair. We will give up. We will log out and unsubscribe. We won't show up for the challenge anymore. And this will affect our emotions. Think about our feelings like the emoji board inside our mind. There are hundreds of different emotions that we can choose. Some of them are very similar to each other. Some of them are very different. We could be filled with despair, regret, rage, sadness, but we could also let ourselves be filled with hope, inspiration, uh, confidence, and gratitude these are all feelings and they all come from somewhere inside of us so if that place inside of us has a balance to it and is influenced by hope-filled thoughts the feeling we get will also be filled by a sense of hope and then the emotions can become more personalized as we tend to feel them and your set of feelings that you get in this situation don't have to match mine. They're uniquely your own. But no matter what we're feeling, no matter what we're thinking, the final resource 
is the last basic step of the cognitive model. And that's our behavior. Our emotions and our thought processes lead to the basic strategy of what we are going to do in the situation. Sometimes the behavior is not all up to us. We have a set of choices we can make, but the outcome is something beyond just our choice. Behavior plus execution plus luck sometimes is what it takes to get a victory, the win that we see on the screen. But in order for us to have a chance at that win, we need to make sure our emotions are something that are is useful for us in the situation. And we need to make sure that our thoughts are keeping us in a place where we're able to participate in the challenge in front of us, in our life, the situation we are in in the moment. In the video game, we were fighting Zodiac. But in our real life, Zodiac is something else. And it's whatever is coming to you in the moments that make up your day. Are your thoughts giving you a chance to work towards a solution? Are your emotions allowing you to stay a balanced part of the situation? And are your behaviors the type that will construct the chance at a victory? If you have enjoyed this mental health moment, you can get more content like this from drgameology.com. We have treatment available through Kindbridge Behavioral Health and uh, Area of Effect Counseling also is available. And you can also listen to our podcast, The Gaming Persona, which is intended to be a weekly podcast. We have a great guest coming out uh, this week for our first episode of 2023. And I can't wait to share more about that as the days rolls on, roll on throughout the week. I hope the cognitive model has been a positive addition to your day. Whatever day it is that you're watching this, whether it's right here on day one, 2023, or somewhere far off in the distance of what we call the future. I hope you can take these ideas with you and use them in the best way possible. And as always, continue the journey.